In this video, I'll show you how to create a stunning YouTube banner using Canva and you don't need to have any design skills. Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Paris and we are all about tools and tips to help you grow your business with online marketing. So if you're an entrepreneur or business owner, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Now the work of a YouTube banner is to get people excited about your channel and in that way they'll be able to subscribe or come back to the channel for more content of the same nature. So we're going to go to canva.com. You can sign in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, you can sign up using the link in the description. It's also going to give you 30 days of free canva pro so that is something uh, maybe you'd like to take up so once you're in the canva dashboard once you're logged in we're going to go to here where it says create a design and you can type in either youtube uh, banner or youtube channel art so that is what it was called before you can see here that it is already suggested so we'll just click on that so this is the blank youtube banner so the first thing that you have to know when designing your youtube banner is the dimensions of the banner so let me show you what I mean by that. So this is a photo that I got from Google and it gives us the dimensions of the YouTube banner. So you can see here the biggest one is the TV size which is 2560 by 1440. So if you have a picture on your banner and it covers this entire space, it means that people who are watching from the TV are able to view uh, that picture. That is how they will view the YouTube banner. You can also see here that there's a desktop maximum. There's also the tablet size and then there's also the desktop minimum and mobile sizes, which is 1546 by 423. So this is what we call your safe area. When you're designing your YouTube banner, this is where you want to ensure that your text and logo are because if you put it here and someone is on the mobile then they can't see what is here and if someone is on the mobile and you put something here they can't also see that or they can't see the rest of the area but what you put in here can be seen by the person viewing from the mobile can be seen by the person viewing from the tablet can be seen by the person even viewing from the tv that is what we are going to take into consideration so i just took that photo that i have shown you and i went to uploads and i uploaded it into canva so this is the photo itself and i click on it it's come to this blank canvas so you right click it and then you click on set image as background so that now all the sizes are to scale so this is what we are going to use to design so we are going to go to here where it says file and you want to ensure that the show rulers and show guides is enabled so you check them and then you come to this top space here and then you pull down so that you have the grid line coming down then you put it on that uh, top space there what we want to create is a replica of this photo but using the grid line so that we can design so we have put one there we come and put another one here and then we pull the vertical ones you put it here and then you pull the other vertical one you put it um, there so this photo is helping us to design so that you don't have to cram all the sizes so i just got it from google and i just uploaded it to canva and you can see how helpful it's been so once we've done that we want to add a page here so now we have our grid lines and since we are done with this photo we can just delete it what we need to remember is that this is our safe area this middle part here so i'm going to uh, go ahead and rename this i'm going to call it blue strap media new banner so the second thing now that we are done with the dimensions is to ensure that you stay on brand. You want to put a little bit of branding on your YouTube banner so that people, you know, when they come to the channel, they are not confused about who you are. So I'm just going to add in my logo here. So I'll just click on it there. Then we are going to resize it there so that we can put it in here. So remember we are working only with the safe area. Now I'm going to also add in here what it is that um, we do at Bluestrap. So you can either tell people that, you know, I help people do A, B, C, D, or you can have also some pillar content. So for this one, I think I can add in some pillar contents. So you just press T on your keyboard to bring up the text and you can just resize it by pulling it um, outwards. Then I can just um, select all of this, what I can write online marketing in caps. I'm also going to change this font here to be Lixpartan. So you can make it a little bit bigger. 
so that you're able to design uh, better i can have it maybe as that size then i'm going to replicate this so you just hold alt on your keyboard and drag it outwards to replicate so i'm just going to select all here so that i can type something else so i want people to know that we talk about online marketing and entrepreneurship on this channel i can change this color of this to blue just to stay on brand and then i also want to add an and here so i can just go to elements here and just search so that we can see what we can add here we can add this one i like this one so i'll just resize this one And then we can change the color again to stay on brand. So this I'll make it uh, blue and then I'll make the red yellow. Let me change the order of this um, so that we can make them a little bit bigger. Um, so let me pull this one outwards like that here so that we have them a little bit bigger. So just try to resize them until you're satisfied with how... Um, the design looks like so let me replicate this again so that we have it down here so that we can tell people about the frequency we can say um, new video every week then I can resize it so that it's a bit smaller I'm also going to add in a rectangle here so just close this and then we go to the shapes here I'll add in a rectangle so that this rectangle is on the new video every week just to just to add a bit of color on on this. I can also add in a bit of graphics here. So this is something that I'd searched um, earlier. It's a digital marketing graphics. So I can add this one here. Let's see again what that looks like. Yeah, not too bad. I think that's okay. So I'm also going to add in a background photo here. So I'd searched for one earlier. I'm going to add in this one. So you just right click it and then you set it as a background image. But now I have to change the transparency so that it doesn't hinder our writings here. So I'll just reduce this transparency. Yeah, so if you look closely, you can see them, but then they are sort of in the background just to bring a bit of character to our banner so another thing you can do if you want to add in a call to action you can add it in this area so that when someone views it from the desktop they can maybe download your freebies or they can go to your course or, or things like those so i'm just going to download this one as it is now as png so the next thing is for you to go to the YouTube Creator Studio. So ensure that you're logged in into your YouTube channel and then you can go to the banner area here. So this is the current banner that I have. So I'm just going to click on this icon here so that I can change the artwork. You can see here we have the banner image. So this is what is there right now. So I'm just going to click on change here and then I'm going to go to my downloads. Then I'm going to just click on the one that we have created so that we see what it looks like. So this is what is viewable on all the devices. So you can see that we have sort of nailed it there. So just click on done. So I've just gone ahead and clicked on publish so that the changes are effected. So the changes have been published. We can now click on go to the channel so that we see what it looks like now. Yeah, so this is what it looks like on desktop now. The last thing that you can do is to add in the links maybe for Instagram, for Facebook. If you want to direct people to other places where you have your presence online. So you click on customize channel and then you click basic info here and then you click on links there. So I can add in uh, maybe the link of the website I had created earlier. You can watch that in this video here. So I'm just going to type in here bluestrap website. Then I'm going to paste in the link here. So you have up to five links that you can have displayed. So I can click on this, um, show the first link there. Then I'm going to click on publish. Once we've published, we can go to the channel to see what it looks like. Now you can see here there is a blue strap media website. So this is how you can continue to add links. So you can put in Instagram, you can put in as many up to five links that you want to be displayed on this. And when someone clicks on that link, then they should be directed to your website, to your Facebook, to your Instagram, to 
whichever site that you'd want them to be taken to. So that is how easy it is to create a YouTube banner using Canva. I hope you learned something. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't. In the meantime, have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.